I've had this baby for a year now. It's time to let you know what I really think about it. Hey guys, it's your family and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. As you can see from the title, I am going to be doing a one year review of my Luebe basket bag. If this is your first time here, I make videos all about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I also upload vlogs every Sunday. So if you like the vibe at some point, consider subscribing. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would love to have you be a part of this community. So. Let's jump into all the details about this bag. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, it's still so early, I need some coffee. Before I get into it, this is actually the third time I've tried to film this video, so if this doesn't work, <laughs> I'm gonna take it as a sign that this video is just not meant to go out. But anyway, let's get into the details. So, this is my Loewe basket bag. I'll try and film some close-up shots in natural light so that you can see all the details. This is my Loewe basket bag in the medium size. Like I said, I purchased it about a year ago. I ended up getting this directly from the Loewe boutique. If you watched my original video, you would have seen that I ordered it online. I think I originally ordered it online from Liberty but I wasn't too happy with the one I got, so I ended up going back into the Loewe store directly to pick this out. I got to see so many different ones and I got to pick the exact one I wanted. The cool thing about the Loewe basket bags is that they're all very different. I think I saw about four different medium ones and they were all different. They're all different colors, slightly different shapes, roughly around the same size, but even to my naked eye, some looks a little bit bigger or smaller. I mean, they're a natural product. It's essentially a raffia or a cane straw bag that's woven by hand. I believe these bags are made in Spain. So there's obviously going to be a lot of natural variation as with any product that's made from a natural material. In addition to the cane, there's obviously this patch of leather right here on the front. Let's see if my camera will focus on it, yep. A beautiful patch of tan leather on the front with the Loewe brand name on top and of course their anagram logo embossed into the leather. There's also this white contrast stitching along the corners of this patch. And then the straps are made from a matching leather. This little popper here is used to adjust the length of the strap. So I have it on the longest setting, but if you wanted this strap to be shorter, you could just pop that out, pop it into the hole on top, and then it would automatically shorten the strap. And it's the same for how the strap on the back works as well. Only other detail that's worth mentioning is that on the inside of the bag, hopefully my camera will focus, there is a silver badge that also has the Loewe logo embossed onto it right there. My bag did not come with a box. I did ask in store and apparently the only way to get a box with this bag is if you order online, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. But my bag came with a huge dust bag and it's just a plain calico dust bag. There is the anagram logo stitched onto it as well. And this is basically what the inside of the bag looks like. So this bag comes in a bunch of different sizes. It comes in the small, the medium, and the large size. For me, the small was always going to be too small. The large was the one I was kind of considering when I went into the Loewe store. I actually asked to see a large and it's huge. I feel like the large is pretty much the size that you would get and it would be exclusively a beach bag. So I went with the medium. It's very similar to Goldilocks story, isn't it? <laughs> For me, this is the size that was perfect. It's versatile. It fits my frame. I'm five, eight and a half. Like I can get away with this in a more casual setting. And I've also used this bag to go to the beach as well. So it's great for that as well. I think in my very first Loewe basket bag video, I actually kind of recreated how I would pack this bag to go to the beach. If you want to see how I fit in towels and all that kind of stuff in that bag, then I would highly recommend watching that video. Now that I've had this bag for over a year, what do I think about it? Would I recommend it? And what is my overall opinion? When I bought this bag, this bag was 400 pounds, I think, 395. I'll link everything that I'm talking about in the description bar so you can see what the current prices are. And for me, when I bought this bag, I thought that that was a good price to pay for a designer bag. And let me explain why I think that. Obviously, this bag is a straw bag. It's not a fully leather bag. However, when you compare the cost of this bag to similar bags, 
basket bags from other designers. The Loewe basket bag, at least during my search, was hands down one of the most affordable luxury basket bags on the market. That is where I would say it is a good price point. And that's literally where that assessment ends. Obviously, in terms of the cost of the materials, even in including the cost of the craftsmanship, it's not worth it. You can get a straw basket bag with um, a patch of leather on it for maybe what 40 pounds <laughs> without the Loewe branding but for me that's where the value of luxury comes into it essentially no luxury item is worth it in the grand scheme of things so you kind of have to decide whether you are comfortable with paying the markup for that premium branding Loewe is a fashion house that I love, I love so many of the designs that they do. At least for me anyway, I thought it was worth it. I have an appreciation for the Loewe brand. I think that aesthetically, the Loewe logo is one of my favorite logos to look at, if that makes sense. The only other logo that I think I feel a similar way about is the Celine logo, like the Triumph logo is what I also think is really beautiful. I just think there's something about this logo that's very understated but very beautiful and very much so a logo that's not in your face. And again, if you don't like logos and you don't want it to show at all, you can always wear the bag this way. So I like that you have that versatility. For me, from that perspective, I really, really enjoyed this bag. I think it's beautiful, I think it's stunning, and I like having something from the Loueve brand. So let's talk about functionality. One of my biggest, I guess, gripes with this bag is the fact that it's a huge gaping hole. But again, that's not peculiar to this specific bag. It's just the nature of most basket bags. A dust bag helps to get around that. So when I'm using this bag, I put all of my stuff into the actual dust bag, and then I will tie the dust bag with this little string around the handle. I think it just gives me that second layer of protection. Another thing that I've seen people do is put a scarf over their belongings in their basket bags. And that way it just means that all of your stuff isn't on show. I think that is like my biggest thing with bucket bags in general. I don't want all my stuff on show. Having said that, this bag fits so much stuff. So I've used this bag, like I said, as a beach bag, as a travel bag, and there's nothing you can't fit in here. It fits my 13 inch laptop. It'll fit a water bottle. Me talking about what it fits is, is, is obscene. It fits everything, okay? <laughs> I've actually used this bag as a beach bag for me and my husband. So it can literally serve as a beach bag for two people. You can definitely roll up two towels in here and have some snacks and space for a books and like everything that you would want to take on a beach day so functionality wise it is up there it's very practical when I just know I need a lot of stuff and I don't want to have to think about it this is the bag that I gravitated towards like every single time I was going to a park or a beach this summer this is the bag that I grabbed for me basket bags are extremely versatile I can take it shopping I can take it to the beach like I've said several times I can wear this on an everyday just casually about the city I will say it's definitely more of a summer spring bag for me. I think I tried to style this bag during the winter in my first Louis Vuitton basket bag video. I mean, if you can rock it, rock it. But for me personally, this is a bag that I gravitate more towards. Once it's like springtime, I want to bring out my basket bag. There's something about a basket bag that's so charming. And I think even if you don't want a Loewe basket bag, I would highly recommend having some sort of basket bag in your wardrobe because you'd be surprised at just how easy it is to style. And yeah, gosh, I can't wait for the warmer months. You guys know, like, I'm such a sun seeker. I live for anything that's like, reminds me of the sunnier time. <laughs> so now let's talk about some cons. And for me, the only con I have with this bag is my concern around the longevity long term. I cannot see any visible wear on this bag. Of course, there's a little bit of fraying, but that's just the nature of the material. I mean, I could see that from the moment I picked up the bag. All the stitching is still intact. Nothing has come out that's loose. There's no staining or scuffing or anything that I could see that would bring me any concern. I'm definitely careful with my bags, but I don't baby this bag at all. I've taken this bag as my carry-on on a plane. So that in itself is like a whole process. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way it's worn over time, but I am concerned about the longevity over like five years, for instance. However, like I said, at the price point, I feel like 
you will very easily get your cost per wear with this item as long as you're careful with it. I would highly recommend this bag if you're looking to add a luxury piece into your wardrobe at a really good price point. I definitely think it's worth it. It also comes in different colors. I should also mention that. I know it comes with the white patch, but I've also seen a navy, I think I've seen a black. I think they do like special versions every single year. And you can get different variations of their classic basket bag as well. I've seen one that have like different animal stitchings and things like that. To cut a long story short, I would highly recommend it. I'm really in love with it. I think it's aged really well. And this honestly makes me want to try some more bags from the Wave A because even the way the leather has worn, it's just in incredible. And I wore this bag so much over the summer. Like if you follow me, on Instagram, you would have seen, I don't even know how many times I wore this bag, but it was a lot, <laughs> a lot. I think that's all I have to say for the Wei Wei basket bag. As usual, links and everything will be in, down in the description bar. If you have any other questions or if there's anything I didn't touch on that you wanted more information on, please let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to, and I will catch you in my next one. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care. Bye.